Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class Evan Geiger, French horn player with the United States Army Band Pershing Zone, and in this video we'll be talking about how to play your first three notes. The first note I want you to make sure you have in your head at all times is a C, middle C, our middle C. When I say our middle C, that, that might sound a little confusing, just trust me when I say it's the middle C that's on your music. It's this note here. When you play this note, make sure that you are sitting up straight, you take in a lot of air, you're forming a correct embouchure that is corners in, chin down, and that that is all directed down into the horn. You're not going toward the horn and you are uh, don't feel like you're reaching for the horn, but it's coming to you. The second note is D. Uh, the fingering for the D is one. You might have noticed as I played the C, I wasn't pushing any keys down. Uh, that's the same on both a single horn or a double horn. Again, the difference being with the trigger and with the thumb key. We're not using the thumb key yet, so there's no need to worry about it. So that C again was no fingers down. The D is one fingers down, and it's just a little higher than the first note. So again, the first note was That's a C. Second note is a D. And the third note I'd like you to know is just one step higher than that, and it's an E. This note again is open, meaning no fingers down. Those three notes again are C, D, and E. They sound like this together. You can play them in any order or together or in succession, however you want to play them, but it's very important that you know where these notes are. This is go going to become more and more important as you play more because you'll notice that lots and lots of notes have the same fingering. In fact, you might find yourself on a different note thinking that this doesn't quite sound right when you play those three notes. If it sounds like this, that means you're too low. If it sounds like this, that's a tricky one. It sounds very similar to the way the first three notes sounded, but in fact, those three notes are higher. That's E, F, and G. What we want is that C. C, D, E. What I like to do is I find my C by finding the note below it. Those notes sound somewhat far apart, and I'm not pushing any fingers down. If those notes sound mostly far apart, then you're probably on the right note. If they sound a little bit too close together, or then you're probably a bit too high. So once again, our first three notes are C, D, and E. C is open, D is one, E is open again. And what I'd like you to do is go over these notes several times like this. sitting up straight, making sure you're using plenty of air with a good embouchure. That's it for this video, and I hope to see you on the next one.